It's an interesting distinction within the Alsemka trial, patients were, quote, symptomatic. Now, what does that mean? It means patients were taking a daily Tylenol or they had some sort of score that would indicate that they had a, a little bit of pain. Or they could actually be on opiates and have severe pain. You know, first of all, pain is pretty subjective. The FDA label does very clearly state that the patients who receive radium are going to be having symptomatic disease because that's where the trial context is. You know, I'm not completely sure how important that is. And the reason I say I'm not personally that sure is that first of all, pain tolerance varies widely from individual to individual. Some people, if they have a hangnail, it's very painful. Other people have a hangnail and it's not noticeable. So it's a very subjective type of endpoint. I don't use that in a lot of my decision making. I'm thinking more about the burden of bony disease as opposed to whether or not the patient says, oh yeah, I got a, got an ache in my back or not. Now, obviously if a patient's on opioids and they have very significant pain, you know, there's really no question that's a symptomatic patient. But there's a bit of a gray line in there and I'm not paying attention to whether or not the patient says, I have bony symptomatic disease because I'm taking one acetaminophen a day, oh, that qualifies them for radium. I just don't think that that careful line that has been drawn in a regulatory fashion is really that important.